Hello, my name is Matthew Hancock, and today I'm presenting knowledge, the Knowledge Management Tool Tableau. Knowledge management defined um, by this article was there is no universal definition of knowledge management. Knowledge management refers to the set processes or practice of developing in an organization the ability to create, acquire, capture, store, maintain, and dis disseminate the organization's knowledge. Um, Pretty much knowledge management is also the ability to share knowledge between different departments in a business. Um, it's almost like the backbone of every business today is having um, a good set um, business strategies behind knowledge management. The knowledge management tool tableau. Uh, here I uh, found a really good definition of data visualization, which that's what the Tableau software, that's what it is. Um, at its base, it's a data visualization tool. Um, data visualization is the presentation of data in a graphical format. Data visualization helps users of data understand the data, and data visualization software enables the user to see and understand the data in ways that could only previously be done through the usage of complex queries and time-consuming manipulations. Um, before Tableau, my company uh, used um, a data pulling software called CRISPR reports is developed, I believe, in late 90s, early thousands. Is a statistical piece of software um, which we used for reporting, and it had very few uh, options for data visualization. It wasn't until uh, when my company uh, adapted Tableau that we could actually see, we could actually start um, presenting very complex data models um, in Tableau very quickly and uh, without much manipulation. And here's uh, a Tableau example. Uh, using some example data that the Tableau software comes with, uh, Tableau also uh, comes with a lot of uh, free tutorials and free uh, software databases. So you can go in and practice without um, uh, having to uh, hard code in a lot of stuff if you're using uh, a data set that your company already has. Um, so here is a, a very simple sales done by region. So you can see the sales done in the west, east, south, and central using a bubble chart. And pretty much it's a really simple thing that, you know, using other outdated software would take hours to do. And in Tableau, it can take 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, benefits of Tableau. Tableau connects users with a variety of data sources and enables them to create data visualizations by making charts, maps, dashboards, and stories through a simple drag and drop interface. Um, you no longer have to use pseudocode or, you know, some SQL or uh, Python or R. Um, it's, the GUI is very user friendly. Um, as some people do prefer, and I sort of do prefer using um, R. Sometimes, uh, depending on um, which data I'm playing with, or if I, I would rather clean my data before dropping into Tableau, and that's something that no matter what, you, you are probably going to have to use something like R or Excel or something like that. Um, but the drag and drop feature is awesome, um, saves a lot of time. Um, also, uh, like I said at the bottom, Tableau allows users to create visualizations of complex data with ease. I mean, uh, doesn't take any time at all to pick this up. Uh, we had a, a new hire brought on, and um, she had no Tableau experience prior to being brought on to our company. Um, she was given a uh, Tableau task to just make a basic dashboard by the end of the month. She watched probably, I think she said 20 YouTube videos, and what she created was amazing. But, um, I mean, you could learn a lot of this stuff through YouTube, and also with the Tableau software, like I said, they give you a lot of free databases to play in, and they come with a lot of free tutorials. And they, they're step-by-step -step guides, and they show off just how easy it is to uh, mess with this stuff. The challenges of Tableau is uh, making sure it's compatible with your current data environment. Uh, like SQL, very easy. Um, I ran to, well, I heard of an issue with a different company um, trying to integrate it with a Mass90, um, a different form of data that was it's a data base from the 90s. Um, it wasn't compatible, so you could not have any like live data reports unless you funneled the Mass90 through SQL and 
doing all that sort of thing. Um, also, integration with ERP systems. It's another thing that you have to tackle, especially if um, you're speaking with the Tableau software salesman. Um, certain ERP systems it is compatible with. Um, and then others, I think a good example is Stage 100. Um, it's a accounting piece of um, primarily used for accounting. But with that system, it's not perfectly integrated for Tableau. Now, with some of the old, like Crystal Reports, definitely, but no, Tableau. Uh, training and implementation, that could be, um, that's a hurdle I think everyone has to challenge with um, or take on when uh, implementing new software. Uh, and then the maintenance and the cost. Um, depending on the size of the company, maybe Tableau is not worth it. Uh, for any mid-level to Fortune 500 companies, I think it's a necessity. Um, it, it's almost becoming the new standard from uh, when I was doing job hiring last summer. Uh, every interview I went into, that's one of the first questions I asked if I knew how to use Tableau. It's just an incredibly handy tool for anyone who is in the data side of things, uh, from data science, data engineers, anything like that, it's something you're going to become reliable on. And then in conclusion, it's an excellent data visualization software that is being used by a lot of major companies in various industries. Thank you.